All right, so I am back in uh, back at Blue Marsh Lake. I come hiking here pretty often sometimes, but I'm in the northern part of the area now, hiking with like a seven mile loop. Um, I usually do this in first week of May. It's like the first week of June, but yeah, well, a little late getting to it. But uh, as always, I'm gonna take you along with me on this hike and we'll see what we see. Hopefully we see some uh, cool wildlife and other things, so we'll see. Beautiful day. Might get a little warm and humid, but that's okay. I don't want to break in a new pair of uh, shoes, too, so that's the reason I'm doing this hike. Get these shoes broken in. Well, looky here, we got some, some wild strawberries. These things aren't overly tasty, but let's try some. They're not like the uh, ones you grow in your garden. Oh, there's a big one now. But yeah, in this area, the roadsides are full of uh, people selling strawberries right now, but not these kind though. But they are edible. Oh well. Got a bunch of May apples. And of course, they produce these little tiny fruit things. Now, the plant itself is supposed to be poisonous. But they say you can eat the the little fruits. I tried it once before somewhere, and they don't. They taste pretty awful. Maybe it was too green. This one's a little more ripened, maybe. So let's uh, oh, let's uh, give it a taste, huh? Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, uh, for people making like a jelly or a jam out of them too, but I don't know. Leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Anyway, let's keep going on. I think I'll let those go. Here's some more of those wild strawberries. Down, I mean, this is like the biggest wild strawberry I've ever seen. I mean, they don't get that big. But that's a that's a big boy. Tastes like the others, but I don't get that bad taste out of my mouth, even that may apple. So I'll stop eating a few of these again. Yeah, we have, we've had so much rain this spring that uh, all the plants and everything out here are just huge, including the strawberries. Well, I just saw an Oriole flying around this area. I got a few pictures of it. It's either a Baltimore Oriole or a, an Orchard Oriole. So I'm gonna chill out in this area a little bit and we'll see if I can get some video footage of it too. Maybe some more pictures. I'm guessing it has a nest right up here somewhere. Well that Oriole didn't show back up. So anyway I'll try to include a I'll try to show you a picture of what I took. We'll see how they turned out. I'm not sure. Sometimes those pictures don't turn out so well. I was able to snap two quick pictures off before it flew away. So, so we'll see how they look. And if they are good, I'll, I'll show you one. They're pretty birds. One nice thing about hiking up Blue Marsh is you get a variety of uh, terrain. You know, earlier we were in the woods. Now we're obviously out here in the fields and stuff so it goes from woods to fields to walking along streams and stuff so you get a quite a variety of places to hike at it's kind of nice all on the same trail oh there's this huge mass of ants right here on the trail they're coming up out of the, the field here looks like some are going back across but I'm not sure what's going on 
right in the middle here. If they found something to feed on or what, but there's a ton of them in there. But we'll let them go. Keep on going. And just off trail here, we got some cool beetles in there. Try to zoom in on them. I think those are, are they milkweed beetles, I think. Or some kind of longhorn beetle. Pretty cool looking though. I get some pictures of them. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there was a deer. She's gone now. Yeah, there was a a deer out in that field. It was actually out behind me. I actually saw I seen a groundhog up here. You know, I started to film it, but then the groundhog disappeared and I heard a bunch of noise behind me and it was a deer. So I don't think I really got any on film, so yeah well, that's the way it is sometimes. But there's stuff out here, there are wildlife out here. And this looks like a nice little place to take a break, actually. I'm just taking a break here. I noticed this little weird little dude down there. Some kind of a slug chilling out there on that leaf. What a weird looking dude. Well, I was looking through the pictures I took of the uh, Oriole, they didn't turn out so hot, but I think I'll post the one at least. Uh, with, it, it, the picture's a little bit far away, but I can zoom in and crop with this camera, but the picture's a little bit blurry, but I'll show it to you anyway. It's still a cool, still a cool bird to see, an Oriole. Let's continue on again. came out to this little watery area and there's something over there on the other side. Do you see it yet? There it is. Great blue heron over there. He sees us. It's cool to see. All right, it's time to play find the chipmunk again. Oh, there he is. There you go. Well, there are several big hills to climb. This trail, I'm a little out of breath, <laughs> but brings you to higher areas with some neat views. I mean, the first time I came hiking up on this trail and hit some of those big hills, I was like, you know, had to stop multiple times on the way up. And, but now that I've been hiking a lot more often, you know, those hills just aren't as big of a deal anymore. So. It's good to get in shape, I guess, for multiple reasons. Back into the woods and into the shade. I should probably take a break right here. Yeah, my log is, uh, my log is right here. I always take a break on this log right here. 
Makes a nice little seat. Getting a little hungry. It's time to get some water and snack. Alright. Yeah, as I was getting my food bag out of the backpack, this little guy jumped on me. Oops, blurred out there. Kind of cool little cricket or something. It's not a grasshopper. I wonder if that's what they call a mole cricket. All right, time to get moving again. It's nice to sit and take a break and cool off too. I enjoy hiking, but it's nice to just sit. Sit in the woods too sometimes. Just enjoy it out here. All right, got a big downhill trek here to take now. And I think there's, there's one more really big hill on this trail yet that I gotta tackle. And then the other side of the trail is real easy, but anyway, whatever. Let's get going again. This guy doesn't look so good. He's having trouble. Oh, there he goes. Oh, squirrel. I don't know if you saw that. He's scared. He was under this bridge here. I was just taking a nice little you know, scenic shot of myself crossing the bridge. It's going to go and pan the creek and all of a sudden this squirrel shoots out. Anyway, I don't know if you got to see him or not, but anyway. Hey, let's get moving. Continue with the nice footage of crossing the bridge. And I'm making my way up to what I refer to as the big hill now. I think this is the biggest hill on this section of the trail. So I'll see you at the top, hopefully. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top. That is a, that is a butt whooper though, coming up there. All right, well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna chill out for a little bit here again. Cool off a little bit, have some water. <sighs> Sounds good. Back on trail. Yeah, you can probably hear the highway traffic. There's a highway just across the lake here. Actually, we're coming up to a road. I gotta cross a bridge, and then we'll be on the other side of the lake. And on that side of the lake, you'll hear highway traffic quite a bit of the time that I'm videoing, but that's the way it is. And this brings us out to the road. And there's a fly on the camera. And back on trail. Got all these purple flowers along the trail. I think these are called uh, Dame's Rockets. I think there's another name for them as well. Each flower has the four petals. Sometimes they're a whitish color too. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this side of the trail and this side of the lake is a lot different than the other side. It's relatively flat over here, so it's much easier hiking. The other side has all those hills, which, you know, whatever. But uh, like I said, the only thing about this side is the traffic noise. Um, but, you know, it's it is what it is. You get kind of used to it. There is still cool scenery on this side and things to see. So nature is everywhere over here as well. So, and sometimes the trail is right next to the highway and sometimes it's further away. So it kind of varies a little bit too. Here's our first real good look at the lake. Oh, a fish just jumped out there. As you can see, we're right near the highway there. there might be some turtles up here. Let's see. I'll get back to you. Yeah, a lot of times there are turtles lounging around those logs over there, but I don't, I don't see any today though. I'm just stopping for some lunch this spot here. I haven't re been really doing a whole lot of filming on this side of the lake too much. Kind of hustling to get back to the truck. I got some uh, I got some work I gotta do later today so I can't I can't stay out here forever. Um, yeah, nice lo location to have lunch out here. We're not we're a, little bit, a little bit further away from the traffic noise too, so. Alright, we'll get going in a moment here again. And I think my new shoes are sufficiently broken in too. I feel pretty good. My feet might be a little, a little sore in some places because they, you know, the new shoes fit just a little bit differently than the old ones do. So, but overall, overall, I'm liking them. All right, time to get going again. Not too much further to the truck. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm being scolded. There's a red winged blackbirds up there. I have a nest, with some young in right nearby here. There's some cattails, like a little marsh area. So I'm probably disturbing them. Oh well. We'll get out of their way. Yeah, various points along the trail it smells quite nice. And most of it's coming from these, these white flowers here. This is a multiflora rose. These giant thorny bushes. They're actually uh, an invasive species. I've talked about them in other videos. I think they came from Asia somewhere. And they're kind of a pain because they just grow and like take over areas, but they do smell nice. Sometimes you just walk down this trail, the air is just filled with that pleasant smell. And they do provide food for the birds in the winter, so, you know, they're not going anywhere, they're here to stay, so, I guess you kind of have to learn to enjoy them. Yeah, here's a whole nother bunch of them, just perfuming the trail. Just another view of a section of the lake. Someone fishing out there, too. We're almost done. Well, this is going to be pretty much it for this video. The parking lot area is just up ahead. Um, yeah, you never know what you're going to see on these hikes. I was hoping to see a little more wildlife. I mean, I think I saw a little bit more than you guys did. I did see a deer and uh, some other things. I didn't quite get on video, but anyway, it's still always fun to come out and do these hikes. Regardless of what you see, it's always fun just to be out in nature enjoy this time out here so anyway thanks for coming along and i'm not sure where i'm planning on going next but that's where i'll see you oh yeah just one more thing i mean here's my truck here's our sister over here the exact same make and model i think pretty much that's her 
blue sister over there. <laughs> 